I feel like a sack of smashed banana peels. I don't even know what that means. Last night, I didn't record anything for the vlog, or yesterday that is, during the day. Um, I was doing some things, but nothing really interesting. You know, just here on the computer, editing some stuff, waiting to deliver, uh, uh, waiting for something. I don't even know. My brain hurts today. But I decided I was gonna go up to the bar with my brother, hang out for a little bit. Oh, that's what it was. I was, uh, we were looking online for some DJ equipment. That's what it was. And so I was doing a lot of that all day, trying to find a good deals on certain stuff for DJ booth. Anyway, um, go up to the bar. We're gonna hang out. I was gonna do like a, a scary story because it's real dark there in the back and all that. Anyway, as you guys know, I don't really drink. Very, 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 very few and far between times do I drink. Does that make sense, even? I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't drink very often. Anyway, they had a bottle of Crown Apple. And uh, we were laughing and having a good time. And you know when you start laughing, your endorphins kick in and you're enjoying yourself. And I was like, you know what? It was just the, the some of the employees, a few regulars that go to the bar. I decided, ah, come on. Let's just have a few, few drinks. So we started with the crown shots. Long story short, I woke up today, my right leg feels like I tried to break it off of my body. I feel like dog doo doo. I have a bunch of pictures. Wanna see them? Here we go. Apparently we ate Whataburger, a triple meat with everything, with french fries, and I'm assuming I had either a Dr. Pepper or a sweet tea, I don't even remember. And they dropped me off at home and I uh, woke up feeling like this. All day I've been trying to recuperate but it's nothing that's gonna go away just time time is all that helps so uh, there's no vlog from yesterday that little bit of footage you saw with the skull that was the only video footage that i had everything else was pictures every burp tastes like death i'm gonna shower up wash off all the stank Then I gotta go meet Haran at the Leaky Barrel. Talk about some artwork. Well, I'm on my way to meet my buddy Haran at the Leaky Barrel, and I'm stuck in traffic because something is going on up there, some kind of road construction or something. So it's all access roads now. And everybody on the highway is barely moving along. So, I don't know what to have to do. I was supposed to be there by 10, and it's almost 10, and I'm still 30 minutes away from the place. Meeting adjourned. Now, back to the casa, and I might go to my brother's right now and work on a Tom Landry painting for him, but uh, on the wall in his pool room, game room, 
but I don't know. I, he hasn't replied yet, so I don't know if he's uh, up for it anymore or not. It was kind of what we were supposed to do yesterday, but that didn't happen. Well, I'm back from the leaky barrel, and it's 12.30, almost, 12.25. I'm supposed to go to my brother's, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. Not now. It's too late. Even though he'll be up. He's a night owl. I wouldn't be able to do it. I'm either gonna have to try to go in the morning or when I get done. I gotta go back to the leaky barrel tomorrow and um, get some supplies and bring them back to the house and, and all that. After I do that, then I can probably go work on the Tom Landry over there at his house, but but, um, yeah, so I'm finally starting to feel a little bit better. I think that second hot shower helped a lot. Also, this huge sweet tea helped a lot, hydrating my body. I, for, I you know, I forget the routine to avoid the hangover, to make the hangover go away as quickly as possible because I don't drink anymore very often, that is. So, hydration. Nah, gotta remember that one. November 1st, I'll be remembering that one because on Halloween night, I'm going to get lit up. I know, I love you too. But that's gonna be it for today. Thank you very much for watching this story. I didn't think of anything to tell you guys. Let me see, top of my head, top of my head. This isn't a really good one, but in the uh, video where I told you about William Shatner, okay, remember I told you I was sitting with a friend named Kai, okay? This is where I met Kai and actually had a conversation with him. We had done other things before, but noticed, you know, we recognized each other from stuff. Well, we did a Miller Lite commercial at a baseball uh, stadium, and... Um, it was, I think, maybe in Austin. I don't remember where it was, actually. It's been so long ago. But uh, during the filming of that is when we actually first, you know, introduced each other, introduced ourselves, and, um, you know, started having a conversation, getting to know, you know, cool people. You know, you meet people. So we were uh, rapping and whatever, and the sun was out, and we were hot, and, and, uh, I had brought in like a little uh, bag, like a like kind of like a lunch bag type thing, and in it I had sunblock. It was a sunblock that I used to wear when I would play golf. He and I are getting roasted out there, and he's like, "Man, I wish we had something, you know, a baseball cap even, you know." And I was like, "Ah, I got some, I got some sunblock," and I break it out, and he sprays some on his face and rubs it in. And I spray some on my face and my arms, you know. So we're getting coated. And, you know, about 10 minutes go by, and I'm like, man, I feel worse. And he's like, yeah, man, I feel like I'm baking under here. And I'm like, dude, and I, and sh I don't know what happened, but the stuff was no longer good. We might as well have put baby oil on our faces because we were now, ba I mean, we were red, red. We were frying underneath that sun. And so we just hightailed it out of the sun we were sitting in some comfortable seats watching all the action you know you know you kind of want it's interesting to watch him set up the cameras and the tracks and the rails and you know the whole thing and listening to what they're talking about and everything and we were right there we had really great seats for all this you know and we were like i'm out i was just i couldn't apologize enough to the guy and it was funny afterwards but um huh that was the whole story Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Tomorrow's Wednesday. And, um... Wash your butt. Talk to you later. Bye.